excited. Okay, so I didn't post Friday's video. Um, it's been a while since I've had like big plans and I'm really happy because I actually am back to a regular schedule now. I'm in classes. So I'm super happy. I haven't been back to like school since um, the fall of 2019. And so it's been a long time. Um, and I had to stop working because my health got really bad and I was going through treatment and everything. And I'm at the point where I'm like, I think I can handle doing some things. And I decided to go back to school. But today, or Tuesday was my first day. It was on Valentine's Day. And you guys, I recorded it, but I didn't post it. But I'm going to record another day of me getting ready for school and going. So don't you guys worry. But um, I am basically getting ready. Are you ready? Lola and I are going to... Um, the Civic Center in our state and it is they do fancy ballets there they do concerts they do operas and I've been down there many times to see things and I'm very excited because I haven't been down there since 16. My boyfriend took me for my birthday when we were kids when we were in high school so I'm super excited he took me there for my 17th birthday in the, oh no no we went back in 2018 actually we saw the seek the sequel to phantom of the opera and it was called love never dies and if you guys are phantom of the opera people you need to the playwright is online you can like read the whole thing and see what happens and sue dies and sue is responsible and all the tea honey and it is i think it is written by andrew lloyd weber but are they gonna make a movie about it? I don't know, but they should. But we're gonna go see, I think it's called Jesus Super Rockstar, super last minute. My mama called me and me and my grandma are going and then a family friend who invited us. She had extra tickets and I'm like, you know I'm going. So I could care less what it's about. I just love music and I just need to go somewhere. So I'm getting all cute and I already have my outfit picked out. And I know the wig I'm gonna wear. It's my favorite wig, my mom's favorite wig. So she's like, I love this one. So I'm gonna wear it for her. It's my favorite one that you guys always see me in. And I'm just using this Alme TLC Truly Lasting Foundation and it's really light and super buildable. And I'm just going in and covering up. I have to be sure to get all my spots. And this lasts forever. It doesn't peel or separate. I love this stuff. and it does not clog my pores. It's a very clean foundation. And I like it better than the Kat Von D one. I feel like the Kat Von D one separated a little bit throughout the day. The Good Apple, again, it's good coverage, but I think she had a little issue. She'd separate from my skin a little bit. But she has good coverage if you have severe acne like I used to. And my skin's getting better. This is also, look how smooth my skin is since I started using my La Rouge Pousset, however you say it cleanser line and everything. It's amazing. All right, hold on. Okay, and this is the powder I'm using. It's Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Loose Powder. I usually use the Almay Loose Powder as well because I love Almay, but I run out and so, and I'm actually almost out of this stuff, but this is actually one of my favorite powders. Physician Formulas is just kind of a little bit pricey and I'm a drugstore queen, okay? I'm balling on a budget. And I'm just using my e.l.f. Kabuki brush, which I've had forever. I think I've had this probably since high school. And this just puts on any loose powder or any powder at all, just beautifully. And look at how bad my under eyes are. Like, they're very deep set right now. <sighs> and I don't like concealer. I feel like it makes my eyes look creasy. So I just don't wear it. And I'll show you guys what I do. I like a very natural look, a very glowy, very dewy look. I like my eyes to draw though, because I have really green eyes. I like my eyes to pull the attention of all the male suitors. Oh, and of course, Lola's going today. Oh my God. And they're talking outside. Okay, y'all, so we are going to finish and hurry up and get ready as fast as we can. 
because like I said, this is super last minute and I also have other things I have to do ahead of time. So we're just going to throw on this makeup. I promise it looks better. Ooh, I'm looking orange. Good heavens. But we're just going to blend that out here in a minute. But first we're going to add some highlight and some blush. But yeah, I'm so excited about this. Okay, so that's the blush we're going to use. I don't know what palettes from I found it at TJ Maxx. But it's this really pretty rose color, sparkly. And after that, we're going to go into the same palette and add like a really shimmery pale highlight. And then we're also going to pack um, with the Kabuki brush and just blend it out in a patting, mo patting motion and take care of all of that business. And after we touch up our powder, we're going to go through and draw on our brows. And I, for some reason, this brow pencil, I've used it for a while, applied super heavy this time. So this was not my favorite eyebrow day, but girl, it's fine. This makeup, it comes off anyways. But we're going to touch her up as well and put a little bit of powder on her. Because if you put powder on your eyebrows sometimes, it also helps lighten it. It's a trick I learned from a Bobbi Brown makeup class when I used to be a makeup artist. And I absolutely love this trick. It does work a little if you have dark brows. And then we're just going to go in with our eyeshadow with this pretty plum color. And just put her all over the lid and underneath as an eyeliner. And we are done. We added our mascara and the wig. And we are all done, girl. Okay, and this is the completed makeup. We are not done yet, though. I have to add my lipstick and everything. The brows are a little heavy. I don't know what I did today. I just went on a little heavy with them and I like it very natural, but it's fine. Let's make up a blush. Where my face, I'm gonna put makeup, I mean, my lipstick on, but I'm adding my jewelry now. This is my bed, she's not made yet, so just ignore her too. Just adding some necklaces and I'm gonna put my lipstick on, don't worry. Okay, and this is the wig for today. For those of you that are new to my channel, I'm, this necklace is also reversible by the way. That are new to my channel, I have um, dysautonomia uh, amongst kind of the trifecta of things that run with dysautonomia, such as Ehlers Danlos syndrome, uh, gastroparesis, and all those lovely things. Um, but currently, I don't even know why, but my hair is falling out. And I've noticed it whenever I brush it, if I try to put it up in a certain bun, I can see like the back, and it's like not good. So, and I'm getting it in the front a little bit. So I don't know what it's from, hormones, medication. I don't think it's from my treatments at all because I don't see how that would cause hair loss. I don't know, maybe I'm gonna have to talk to my doctor, but maybe there's something he can get me for it. But currently we're wearing wigs and I'm okay with that. I wish I would've started wearing wigs. To save my hair from hair damage of heat tool, hot tools and things like that. You literally you can go buy a gorgeous wig that's straight, whatever style you want, whatever color you want, or curly or waved or crimped and you have that and your hair is not going to get damaged and you can get them for pretty cheap too okay but i need to finish getting ready hold on i'm going to wear these compression socks i just got in and for those who don't know if you have dysautonomia or pots um these help with your blood circulation and the type of dysautonomia or pots that i have pots is just one of the most common diagnoses of or diagnoses of dysautonomia um some doctors just call it pots all the way around uh, the type I have though, that I've been diagnosed with is orthostatic hypotension, but mainly my doctor just calls it dysautonomia or he calls it POTS, which I think is like not accurate. So, but, oh wait, she's the type I have. Oh, and I'm wearing these boots. They have a mud smudge on them, so I need to go like wipe them off before I leave. But they're like a chunky vanilla colored combat boot and it matches my leopard print headband with the like main color on it. And patchwork jeans. And they're from uh, PacSun. But yeah. Oh, and they're super high waisted. And I'm wearing a black studded uh, fitted turtleneck and a bunch of layered jewelry. Where's my earrings? Hold on. And we're gonna be wearing our Druzy earrings by Kendra Scott. They're hoops and they have a small, I don't know what, like oval Druzy stone in them. And Jersey basically means it's not smooth, it's textured, and it kind of looks like a geo stone. Or a geode or whatever, I think. But they're big hoops. Okay, and then I have the matching necklace. And then I have my gold C necklace. If you flip it over, it's like, I don't know, something different. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of Victoria's Secret tees. Lots of perfumes. I sweat a lot. I think we have enough. 
and this is the outfit for the day these patchy like they're big different patches of denim i'm wearing this outfit today i'm not wearing a belt because it will clash with the shoes they're a different color and i only have a black belt and you're like oh, i don't like the black top no i don't like mixing my belt colors and my shoe colors and these fit pretty good actually but i have these hoops on and the shoes tie together the color and my leopard headband so we're all good to go but yeah okay so lola fell asleep in the back seat of the car and we were on our way to the civic center and this is it we had just pulled up i am so excited i didn't get to record much because it was very chaotic and we were almost late so that wasn't good but here is lola she is under my legs in the lobby i had to sit down for a few minutes and this is what the lobby looks like and she sat literally under my theater chair and it was so tiny look at this and we were crammed like it was so crammed and she was just sitting right there <laughs> 